Beautiful Victorians, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Hope you guys are doing super well. I'm here to do your Lionsgate portal activation, which is on the 8th of the 8th, 2023. I always look forward to doing this reading. It is in Leo season. So this is something that happens every year here, Taurus, on the 8th of the 8th, where a cosmic alignment occurs, and it's called the Lionsgate Way. So you'll find it's a time of increased cosmic energy, and it flows between the physical and the spiritual realms, which means the veil is going to be thin around that time. So there's going to be heaps of downloads from spirit, ancestors, passed on loved ones, spirit guides or guardian angels, and it's going to be a very intense type of energies. Now, I believe the Lionsgate officially opens on the 28th of July, and then we've got the new moon in beautiful leo so it's going to be like a magnetic energy going in bringing in uh, opportunities so with the lion's gate it has ties to ancient ancient egypt and also you know um it's been observed for thousands and thousands of years and honored as a great time of influx and activation so the gateway is marked by an alignment between the Earth and the star Sirius. And as the star Sirius rises in the sky, Orion's belt directly aligns with the Pyramid of Giza, which is in Egypt. And from our perspective from the Earth, it looks like the brightest star in the sky as it comes closer to the Earth. Now it is all about abundance and fertility. And because it is in our beautiful star sign Leo, this is about the heart center, uh, passions, love. And it's also about being courageous and having strength around that time. So it is associated with um, the individualized expression of the divine and the energy of Leo is the perfect state of sanction codes and the energy of higher consciousness is broadcast through the star Sirius and the great central sun. So this is why I picked some of these cards to uh, represent the energies for you. Now, Taurus, when this alignment happens, you'll feel this intense surge of light that's going to awaken your DNA. Also, it's going to activate the human energy fields and transmits high vibrational energy frequencies and that is the code awakening. So Taurus, let's get ready to make some beautiful magic here. So I have chosen three spiritual cards from the Lenormand deck. And we're going to take a look at these and what cards are falling out with them. So the tree is your state of health. It can represent karmic people or situations. It unveils how strong your belief system is. Your philosophies of life. And also, it is your spiritual life as a whole. In Lenormand readings, it's also representing um, of tribes. So it could be Druids, Aboriginals, Shamanism, Native American Indians, whatever the um, tribe is. It's about your spiritual path and beliefs that has something to do with nature. Now... With this card, we've got three cards that have fallen out. Very interesting for you here, Scorpio. So we've got... I'll hold one up at a time. So we've got the cat. Now, the cat in the Egyptian symbol... Uh, I'll say it again. Just because it's near the pharaoh... I hope you can see that. It's better. Now, the cat in Egyptian symbolism is derived from that of jungle cats or cats in the reeds. So, who lived in the delta of the Nile in the New Kingdom? The male cat was seen as an incarnation of the sun god and the female instead represented the solar eye. So, this is a female here. And uh, the 
The domestic cat, definitely sacred animal of the goddess Bastet. And this often depicted as a woman with a feline head. So this is the, the woman on the card here. And um, this card is about transformation. You've got the solar eye here and the ank there. Uh, you've got this, um, trying to say it. In ancient Egypt, cats were revered as a symbol of royalty and power. So this is what's coming through strongly. So maybe stepping back into your power here with the tree. And um, let's see what else we've got. Because we've got the pharaoh here as well. Let's see if we can get the moon focus here for you guys. This could be representing a man who's significant and dependable. Now, because the cat's there, they were often seen in paintings and sculptures alongside pharaohs and other important figures and were even mummified after death. So this could be about a companionship with somebody here, Taurus. Um, you know, it could be protection with the power to heal. And, you know, cats bring good luck. And they have strong spiritual energies themselves. So you could be waiting for this man after uh, enduring a break from this person. So the stepping back into your power, but there seems to be some luck. Now you've got the scythe here too, which is about um, harvesting. Usually if the scythe was like that, it means that you would have cut off this person. But you're now harvesting this relationship is what I'm feeling with this. So let's go into the second spiritual card, which is the key. And the key is about unlocking secrets. You being successful and believing in yourself, opening doors to the wishes and desires. In terms of spirituality, the key is described as the higher overall universal divine energy. So it is the divine intervening. And it is the part of spirituality that is brought in intangible. So these could be about life lessons, spiritual breakthroughs, uh, your life purpose and just connections with the spirit world in general. So also it can be important people in your life in the Norman reading. So it will tell you if this person is karmic or soulmate connection. Soulmates don't always have to relate to romance or lovers. It can be your family or friends that you were in a past life with or past incarnation. And you possibly are in this lifetime with the same people. Now it could be in the same role or the roles have reversed in some way. But it's just about being familiar with these people or person. And maybe if you haven't met this person yet, it's someone that you feel like you've known for a very long time. Now you've got the dog and you've got the desert fox here. So this could be just having the necessary assistance from an important friend. The friend that you're harvesting a, um, companionship with. But I feel like there's a need to be crafty because the desert fox can mean... Someone could be lying to you, or there's a need to be cautious here. Okay, um, but because the part of the key is facing the opposite way, I feel like um, this is just an important friendship, and this person's quite intelligent too. So this friend is facing the fox so maybe um, they've taken their mask off here is what I'm feeling so let's see with the third card 
Now we've got the Jed pillar, which is the cross in the Lenormand. So this is religions of all types, principles that go with it. It's about you having faith and believing in yourself. But it goes beyond your chosen spiritual path and it gets into the heart of your spiritual beliefs and religions. But it is representative of uh, places of worship, churches, mosques, um, gardens, just somewhere in nature, temples perhaps. It's a place where you go to have that private moment, you know, uh, to think, pray and meditate. Now you do have two cards that's fallen out. One is the crook and flail, which is the, um, the whip in the Lenormand. And the other one's the house. So it could be just um, about unavoidable conflict with this person. But this has to do with destined family or destined house here. So it could be even um, ha having conflict with religion or um, your beliefs. You both believe in different uh, religion or spiritual beliefs, perhaps. Now we do have the card activation to see what you're going to activate on the eighth uh, of the eighth in the Lion's Gate, and I feel like you are harvesting this companionship and protection, and you've got this power to heal here, Taurus, especially um, with the cat involved here so let's see we've got a couple of um messages from spirit it's just to speak your truth and to also you've got prophecy and money flowing so that's good to know around the lion's gate portal and there's one last card here from the universe has your back and it's when i lean on the faith of the universe so it's all about trust Peace becomes real. So maybe it's just um, finding peace with this person. You know, something was hidden. These are about your emotions. And um, I feel like this is someone you can lean on here, Taurus. So that's all I have for you guys for the Lionsgate portal. I hope you liked the reading. And I'm sending blessings your way. Love to you all. Bye for now.